Um, here you can see a little shag shape that I cut a few weeks back with beautiful color from Lupe Voss, color space color. Um, mostly what we've been seeing with these and what I've been doing is kind of hand drawing them and bringing out the curl and wave. But we thought it would be a great little lesson today um, to show smoothing them out using Denman brushes, um, one of our favorites. You know, when you're working with a short textured haircut like this, if you're very comfortable using a lot of round brush to smooth things out, it can make this not, in my opinion, look its best. So learning how to use the different Denman brushes to control the roots, get tension, smoothness, body and texture is awesome. So my first tip is you don't ever want to start really blow drying, smooth, soaking damp hair. So I always like to use just a little bit of paper towel, especially right after color. If that hair is very, very wet, which it just seems to, you know, the porosity seems to hold so much water. So you'd be amazed at how much time this can save you and your clients at home as well. Um, so I just use regular paper towel. I know they have special towels as well. Uh, like, question, sure. Why not just a regular towel? Like a They're just more absorbent. Mm -hmm. The paper towel is so much more absorbent, I find, than a regular towel. I mean, they, they do have special towels that are super absorbent. Like fiber. Yeah, yeah, but I just love the regular paper towel, and I kind of go through a few pieces until it's not wet anymore. I mean, I actually even did this... Um, before we started, so I wouldn't have to go through too much. Then, then I'll start to add my product. So for this, I'm going to use a little bit of the Davinez uh, volume boosting foam, really at the roots in the crown where I want volume. So I don't want volume everywhere. I want it smoother and closer to the head in certain areas. But here I'm going to really just massage this into the crown, into the root area, pushing it in where I do want the volume. And again, this would this is a great product to natural dry with, to just kind of scrunch and let the hair dry naturally. But I'm going to be smoothing out. Now for the heat protection and to give body control and shine, I'm going to use the Davinez Blow Dry Primer through the roots and the ends. And now this will give nice control and shine and heat protection, the Blow Dry Primer, without a ton of added volume that we would want there in the crown. I'm going to make sure I get that comb through nicely through the middles and the ends. Beautiful aroma there. Just combing that through. Wide tooth comb. Okay, so I'm going to start off in the front, in the bang area. Um, you know, you can see they're kind of short and textured, and we want those to dry nicely so we're going to come right in here i'm going to push this hair across the forehead really focusing on the forehead the frontal area and what we call a wrap wrapping method brushing across and down across and down so this is a great way for shorter hair hair that we don't want a lot of lift or volume with i'm using the smaller brush this is the denman uh five row brush ideal for areas like this, working close on short hair without creating a ton of unnecessary or unneeded volume. So, you know, this takes a lot of patience to wrap drying, but once you get comfortable with it, it really is the key to drying areas with low volume, but really controlling them, especially bangs, hairlines, um, the flat wrap. I'm wondering if, if your client had a different type of hair, uh, maybe it's curly or... Well, this, this mannequin does have curly hair. Which I'm blow drying it straight. Oh, nice. But, yeah. uh, is there a time where you pick like, maybe another brush? Uh, no, this you could use this brush on any type of hair. Awesome. You can really use it on straight hair. You know, obviously it's for smoothness and control, but these work really well on all textures. Look at how beautifully that's drying smoothing. I'm not going to do any tension drying here in the bang. Um, I might come back at the end with a small round brush just to give it a little bit of kick or direction. So this is one of the most underrated ways of drying hair. It really is. Just such a simple thing to do and so impactful. I'll carry that around a little bit into the face frame here. So we'll start here. Before, you know, the hair then drops down and gets a lot longer, and I'll switch brushes. 
could you give us some aha moments if there's like a cowlick or a whirl or even like a scar or a on the head as to how you would use this brush and manipulate it? Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, if there's a cowlick, you want to work against it to neutralize it. So, you know, if the hair is all falling perfectly and beautifully, you just want to go in the way the hair naturally moves. But if there's something you want to neutralize, you want to wrap in the opposite direction. You know, kind of really try to go against it. And again, it takes patience. It seems like, you know, you're not doing a lot, but the way the brush is designed, the way that the nylon pins penetrate the hair, and, you know, you don't need a lot of tension. You shouldn't be scraping or scratching the scalp at all. It should be very, very gentle and fluid. Back and forth. Now, don't overdry the hair. Get it to that point where it's just dry. You don't want to go past dry. That's where you start to get frizz. I'm going to move up to the larger. This is called the, the seven row. It's got more rows. It's a little bit larger. Now, I am going to do a little bit more than just wrapping here, but we're going to start off by wrapping to get the excess moisture out of the hair. There's no point in trying to manipulate soaking wet hair. So now that excess moisture is out, I'm going to do a little bit of what we call leafing. And that's what these brushes really are beautiful at. It's a tension method where you just turn it, lock it into the brush, and follow through to the ends. In this case, I'm just going to come through straight on the ends. I might put some fun little kick and direction in after I get all the hair smooth and controlled. But in this particular case, I really don't want to put a lot of roundness or bevel into the ends. You know, so learning to blow dry with these Denman brushes more vertically the same way that you layered the hair. I think people always think of, of Denman brushes for bobs and like turning the ends under. Um, and maybe they never really work as vertically as I'm doing here. But this is the key to this kind of modern way of drying a layered haircut. And then wrapping at the same time. Use the heat. I'm using my Parlux blow dryer. These are on sale right now this week for Black Friday. 30% off. Uh, so if you're a fan of Parlux, head over to hairbrain.pro and check out the sale on the Parlux dryers. Using Denman brushes here to take a very, very textured, curly, wavy shag, the kind of thing that we're seeing constantly dried naturally, and drying it in a little bit more of a finished way, really kind of polishing it off. Now I'm going to switch hands. This is a great thing about these kind of brushes. And I'm so glad that I was trained as a hairdresser to be able to use my right and my left hand when drying. So whether it's a round brush or a Denman style brush like this, I can use both hands so that I've got even access to the hair. I'm coming in the same direction on both sides. So really practicing how to be ambidextrous super important. So lock it into that first row, then use the air and follow through. Should only take one or two passes to get the initial drying happening. It's so concentrated and controlled. And you want to make sure the hair is not soaking wet. If it still looks a little too damp, then wrap dry. Get the movement happening, get the control happening and then access it again. This is like leafing through the pages of the book, this tension. We call it leafing. It's like turning the pages of the book. You come in and you grab. And let that air flow right through. I'm wondering if you can share with any tips on how to preserve the life of your diamond. Are there experiments? Yeah, I mean, diamond brushes uh, will last a lifetime. They can be cleaned every day. They can be sanitized. You don't want to just leave them laying in barbicide. That will degrade them, but you can, you can definitely sanitize them using barbicide and then cleanse with soap and water. Many people have had, and myself included, have had Denman brushes for 20, 30 years. This is a brush that can definitely last forever. Okay, so I've dried the bangs and the temples. I'm going to now switch to my nine row. This is the largest. 
This will give me the most volume and the most control, and this is through the top. Hannah Ruth Evans is here with us. Hey, Hannah. Great to see you. Hannah Ruth Evans has joined us. I know she knows a thing or two about Denman brushes and this style of blow drying. All right, so now you can see behind the bang, using the larger brush will give me more root lift. So I'm very flat wrapped in the bang. The temples, I use the seven row to get a little bit of volume. And in the top, I'm using the nine row to get the most volume and lift that I can. This is also where I use some of the Davinez volumizing foam. Lifting. And following through. Again, this haircut, I mean, truly when I cut it, the intention was, you know, that this would be a look that would mostly be worn natural. And it's very, very beautiful in its natural wave. But I do believe that a great haircut that's really cut, keeping in mind the hair texture, density, you should be able to wear it in many, many ways in terms of blow drying and styling it in different ways. You should never be locked into just one thing. And, you know, that's not what we want for our clients. Great haircuts or versatile haircuts, I believe. Now just using my fingers and some of the air to actually, you know, feel the dampness. If there's still some dampness in the hair, what we don't want to do is overdry. All right, now I'm going to move into the back. I'm going to start the process again. Around the perimeter here, I want minimal volume. So I'm going to go back to my five row. Just going to use some clips here just because um, the hair will collapse on me. It'll be a little bit harder to work with. I'll use my fingers first, and I'll begin to use flat wrapping again. Now this will begin to stretch the hair. You know, some heads of hair, you, all you need to do is, is do some wrapping, and you'll get a beautiful finish. But if you need a little bit more than that, you can come in and use the brush to create a little bit of tension this turning motion here. And then keep the air chasing the pad of the brush. The pad of the Denman brush is created to minimize static and maximize shine. That's what we're looking for here. I'm not turning the ends under. That's the one thing we definitely don't want to do. If anything, I can even come over the top, get a little bit of extra tension here, and I might even want to give the ends a little bit more of a kick here in the nape. I don't want anything so <clears throat> deliberate, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I don't want anything super deliberate and set, so I won't kind of keep rolling and rolling, but I might come through the ends a little bit like so. Notice again how I can switch hands as I come to the opposite side. We've already done some wrapping here to get rid of the moisture. Small brush means when I turn, there's not a lot of root lift, which is exactly what we want. We don't want to get that root jumping up into the air. We want it closer to the head around the perimeter here. Coming over the top, get a little bit more tension. And the fingers as well. I'm going to get into this with the larger brush. I'm really just focused on this area. Okay. I'm going to switch now to my mid-size seven row in the middle area here. Let's get our pivot point tripod tightened up a little bit. And again, I'm going to get the crown out of the way because we're going to want more volume in there. So just kind of putting the clip right through. And again, what I don't want to do here is blow dry super horizontally. So first I want to do some wrap drying. To take out some of the heavy moisture. You don't want to work on soaking wet hair when you're blow drying. I mean, the magic really happens when it goes from 80% to 100% dry. So working on soaking wet hair, never a good option. It just takes extra time and will give less of a good result. So now, as we said, we're going to go back to this vertical, lifting out the layers from the head. 
lock it in, lift out the layer, follow it with the air. Using my Parlux dryer, as I mentioned, if you're no Parlux, these are great dryers made in Italy. And they're on sale right now for this week, 30% off, as well as all of our brushes on hairbrain.pro. You can see I almost like let those layers fall down naturally here and use the airflow and come right through. Cross that hair right through. A lot of texture cut into here with the razor. Um, so there's lots of different little lengths. And again, the brush, just the nature of it being nylon, it grabs all those different lengths together so beautifully and polishes them all. So again, using, the, I use the smallest, or what we call the five row in the nape and around the hairline in the front. Now moving to the seven row. I'm going to change because I want to start blow drying this with the opposite hand in the opposite direction. So coming in now and grabbing. Again, if you're unfamiliar, which I don't think too many of you are, these are Denman brushes. They're legendary brushes. It's really, you know, I don't know too many great hairdressers or great hair cutters that don't use Denman or have Denman. Um, legendary brushes, super hygienic, easy to clean. Now, they make a lot of different brushes. At the end, I'm going to pull out one of their fun, like, little round brushes. I mean, usually people think of this style, but they've got, you know, probably at least a dozen different types of brushes, maybe more. Coming through. Airflow is so important. Don't waste airflow. Get it right on the brush, and the less times you need to go through, the better. So just going through here, one time, one time, and again, getting the fingers back into the hair to see the moisture level. And that is definitely right where I want it. So now we come back to the crown, switching again to the largest brush for the most lift. So we're going to come into the crown here, and I can be very deliberate here with my fingers to get that extra root lift that we're talking about. We used extra products here. We used some volumizing mousse in the crown. And I really want to begin to bring that out. I'll come back, look for the natural movement in the hair, brush through, a little bit of wrapping here, not too much is needed, and then lift, pause a little bit at the root, to get a good lift at the root. Really dry that bodifying product in here. Pause a little bit, follow through. And brush through that hair. Then lifting, and polishing through. Then use the brush just to keep it moving while it cools down. I don't want it to get too set, set looking, so as it's cooling, I'm just kind of moving it a little bit, gently. Again. So I've got my roots and my middles just where I want them, and then I'm going to come back with a fun little nylon round brush just to kind of really polish the ends, you know, because especially with a textured cut like this, you know, if uh, you've ever worked with me on a razor cut, uh, what I talk about is tapering. It's making the ends a little bit thinner than the roots. So down here, we've got full density, full density. Now the ends start to get a little bit thinner. And a round brush will give me a little bit more control and tension over those tapered, lighter ends to really polish off the look. But again, I didn't want to use a round brush all the way through because I didn't want there to be such a curled look in the hair. Just to get a little bit of control on the ends. But again, really focusing in this root area to get that extra volume. So 
I'm going to work back against it a little bit here to add even that little bit more pop. So this is what I was saying now to come through these heavily textured ends and get a little bit more finish. I'm going to use this, uh, again, it's a nylon. It's got very similar pins. Um, it's got air that can flow through it. And I'm going to turn the air down. I'm going to keep it warm, but less airflow. And now I'm going to come on the ends and really get that little bit more polish. Another, again, Dyson makes all kinds, Dyson, excuse me, Denman makes all kinds of brushes. So I was excited. They sent me a whole goodie case and I had all kinds of fun round brushes. And I always love these kind, just to give that little bit more control to this type of blow dry on the very ends on this type of a haircut. So it doesn't change it. It just polishes it a little bit at a time. And what I like about it is you can almost use it exactly the same. So I can pick up the hair vertically and then get a little bit more polish and kick on the ends of the hair. Polish and kick. Going back around. Working through all these ends. I imagine many of you have used Denman brushes over the years. Don't be shy. Give a shout out. Share some love for Denman. I've been making brushes for a long time for hairdressers. Happy to say that they've been working with Hairbrain this past year, uh, helping us really kind of support our ongoing education and supplying us with great tools. Pleasure to work with a legendary company like Denman. And to try some different things. I've never used this uh, one before they sent it to me. But to know that there's a lot of variety available, you can really see that polishing happening now on these layers, on these textured layers on the ends of the hair. Again, switching hands. So this is one of the things you learn when you learn how to use Denman brushes. You really learn how to use both hands so that the airflow and the control and the control that you're rolling the hair in all is coming from the same direction. Really is kind of a big deal. If you're looking to go from good to great, learning how to use both hands when blow drying, I think is, is one of the things to focus on. Polishing those ends, super important part of this, you know. Um, I think, of, of course, you could always use, if you wanted a different look, you could use a a curling iron or you could come and do some polishing with a flat iron but it could also all be done with a brush coming through again if you see like the way that hair looks before you polish it and seal it it's got the movement it's got the root volume it's got the smoothness but those ends because they're razored which looks great when you just hand dry but when you smooth it they need a little bit more love Especially on, this is obviously pre-lightened hair with a very kind of fun, funky color in it. So all those things, without overworking the hair, you need to be able to really work it. Look at that, how it closes it down. Exactly what we're going for. And the products make a huge difference, you know, without a doubt. The blow-dry primer um, is helping me get that beautiful smoothness in the hair. The mousse is helping me get the root lift, and the blow dry primer is helping when you get that heat on there, it really smooths it out. And back through into these last few centerpieces. Again, coming in. Looks great. You can work vertically here, really grab. I don't feel like I need a very large brush. For this, that's why I was glad to see this very small one, because I, I just want to get a little kick on the ends of the hair. I don't want them to be big flips. What's that? 
Thank you. Thanks to our friends at Denman. It's been a, a pleasure to be, you know, it's kind of like an honor, really, as someone as a hairdresser of 30 years, came up through the Sassoon organization. Um, we were trained from day one, Denman brush. And Denman, it's, you know, to me, it's like a term like Band-Aid. It means brush, you know, like get my Denman. It's like the name is synonymous with great brushes and great quality. And just to think of all the legendary hairdressers that have used Denman and worked with Denman and been affiliated, you know, from Vidal on down to really everyone in the industry. So it's been a real honor this year to work and to, to do some education. And, you know, here's, a, I'll say so, a couple other things. One of the things that Denman said is that, you know, they're the tool. They don't want to dictate how people use it. So they want to just make these great tools and then they want each artist, or well, they've, this year they've got some ambassadors, which is very exciting. They want them to use them the way that they use them. They don't want to dictate how you do hair. They just want to help you by creating a great tool that you can use when you are doing hair. So there you can see, blow drying. What really, uh, if you go back to the beginning, you can see typically this would be, you know, very curly and wavy, but we need options, you know, and we need to be able to say to clients, you know, that they can wear it more than one way. I've always felt strongly about that. Uh, any really great haircut, you should be able to style it in a number of different ways. I, I, I'm a firm believer in no styling whatsoever, just a little product. A haircut should look great, but using some brushes and being so, very thoughtful about what you're doing and where you're doing it, like we've done here, you should be able to take that even into a, another look altogether. So I think I've got it just about where I want. I'm going to actually take a little bit more of the, the mousse here from... Um, from Davinez, the volume boosting mousse. I always like a little bit. This goes way back to the days before we had all these incredible finishing products for dry hair. I always found like mousse just kind of like rubbed into my hands and then just like scrunched into the ends. Could be like a great way to just get like a little bit extra finish and kick and control. And since I didn't grab a spray wax or anything like that, or any dry texturizing pr um, products, I'm just gonna go back to my old school Use a little bit of the mousse there and get it, get her done.